So I wanted to introduce to you a chord that you can use that I know when placed properly is going to spice up your playing. too smooth if you're brand new to this channel go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you're always notified whenever we're dropping a new video all right so it's really important that you pay attention to this to this lesson so I encourage you to watch it all the way through make some mental notes then go back and rewatch it because that's how you're gonna get the best um, usage of this lesson because I'm gonna drop a lot of nuggets and I don't want you to miss out so watch this video First time, make some mental notes, go back and rewatch it, and then anyway, you can be like, oh, okay, that's what he was saying, that makes more sense. Okay, let's drop in, jump into this lesson. All right, so this first lesson um, that I'm gonna be teaching you um, when it's showing you like some spicy kind of chord that you can use and that's gonna really enhance and kind of spice up your playing, I'm gonna use in the key of D. So we're gonna be the key of D today, right? So whenever I'm teaching, I'm always talking about major keys. I never relate anything to the minor because I don't wanna confuse you and make it more just um, that's not my teaching style. So I just want you to understand that whenever I'm talking about any kind of key, I'm always relating every song or everything that I teach you to the major key. So we're going to be in D major today. All right, so now that I know D major is down here, I'm going to go on the sixth string because I, we were just found it on the fifth string. I'm going to go to the sixth string and I'm going to find the root right here. So if I'm a quick reference, I will look at the double dots that you may have on your fretboard. Then I'm going to go two frets up. So I look at the double dots. One, two. That's where D is, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make my triad. Right? I'm looking at my triad, right? So I'm looking at my triad and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. This is what I want to do. I want to show you like a new chord that you can use and apply to your playing. Starting on the fourth string. So if I'm looking at the double dots, I'm going to go two frets up, my ring finger. My middle finger is going to be on the fifth string right where those double dots are. And my index finger is going to be on that high E string on the D. So, so for those guys that may play in church, it's like it's kind of a quartet like thing that we do all the time. I'm going to hammer on that E string right underneath my ring finger with my pinky. That's the new spicy chord that I want to show you that can enhance your playing. So using that chord again, if I if I look at it again, I want to make sure I'm remembering the exact spacing. That exact spacing can be used in another key. So I want to make sure I remember that. Going to remember, I'm using my reference dot. I got to find the root note of D on my on my sixth string. So on my thickest string. So I look at the double dots. I'm going to go two frets up. I know that that's going to be D. So so if I'm looking at the double dots, I'm going to drop to the fourth string. I'm going to go two frets up, one, two. That's where my ring finger, my middle finger is going to go on the B string, which is the second to last string on that B string on the double dots. And my index finger is going to go on the E string where that D was. So, and I know I'm going to hammer on with my pinky right underneath on that E string, right underneath my ring finger, right? So I should be in the same fret as my ring finger. And so there we go. Dun, 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 dun. So I want to show you how we can use that chord and incorporate that same chord to really liven up our playing. So we're in the key of D. Let's say our progression is going to be two, six, three, spices up that progression. The progression was already cool, but I'm adding some other elements. So the chords that I'm playing, if you're not really familiar with the number system, I'm playing that E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, to that G major. So E minor, B minor 11 or B minor 7, F sharp minor 7, G major seven. Then I'm gonna use my spicy chord. That chord 
chord is, I'm telling you, it adds so much presence to what you're doing. Let me pause for the calls right here. If you drop a comment, I definitely read your comments. I love your feedback. So just go ahead and give me some feedback. If you think that this is a chord that can really help your playing, or what are some kind of spicy chords to use now in order to kind of spice up your playing? I definitely want to know. If you love the stuff that we're teaching here, but you're like, you know what? I want to go even deeper. I encourage you to go to carriescamp.com. That is K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com, where we really unpack um, a lot of these, these lessons that I'm showing you to really get you to a place that you feel comfortable and be to your full potential. All right, so let's just hop back in here. It's really important to know where this chord is Because this chord and the relationship and understanding where it is, we can do a lot of things around it. So if we're doing like, we're on our E minor, right? We want to change the progression up. F sharp minor, F major. Go to that G major, so we're gonna go E minor, F sharp minor, G major. different you know positions as far as like the progression progression that we're making up it spices up our playing so um remember where this chord is because it can definitely enhance and remember the placement of it so if we look at our root on the sixth string our f i'm sorry our d major understanding if we look at the double dots we go two frets up on our third to last string which is our fourth string our middle finger is going to be on that B string on the double dots. So look at those frets. It's like there's a space in between, a space in between those. So remember, we can use that same um, chord in any other key. So let's just say for the sake of the argument, we go to, to C, right? I'm going to go down here and find C on my root on the sixth string. Remember, I got to remember the spacing. So I remember the spacing, right? So I can do that right here. to spice up any kind of RB progression that you have you just have to place it in the right place hopefully you enjoyed this lesson i look forward to you guys subscribing and tuning in and drop a comment and let me know what kind of spicy chords do you like do you like this particular chord and adding it to your progression i definitely read the, the comments and i want to know exactly what you think